my gosh! All I have to say is. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna to be installing the Vitesse throttle controller, and it's gonna look like this. So this goes into your gas pedal right here, and this is gonna be the brains behind it all. And this is gonna be the controller where, that click noise is where you switch modes, and there's gonna be a little screen right here to show you what mode you're in, and this knob, will allow you to go higher or lower in that mode. So there's an eco mode, I'm not sure how well that will actually work, but there's like, the whole purpose of this is to uh, close the gap between like the response time of the throttle. And I think it's really good because on these newer cars where they have an electronic throttle, sometimes, and if not most cars, if not all actually have this, right when you press it, maybe there's a half second or one second lag between the throttle. So yeah, hopefully this will work. And throttle controllers are a great area market and I can see why because some people swear that they don't work and some people actually like them and know that they do work and I can see why it's a great area market because there's some of these that are $30 and like this one, this is the higher end one, these are, this was almost $200 but let's go ahead and get started. This should be a pretty easy install as you can see you just have to make two connections but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so it's very tight in here, as you guys can tell, but there's going to be a plastic clip right there. Sorry for the leather. And then another one right there. And uh, another one back there. So I have to remove that. All right, so when you're removing these plastic pieces, you want to make sure you use a, a plastic trim piece remover like this blue one right here. And... I mean, you could use plastic, I mean, metal ones or a flathead, but it'll probably mark up the uh, plastic right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. All right, and then the next step is going to be trying to take this off. And I actually might have to remove the bolts right here with a 13 mil. All right, I was finally able to get out this clip right here, and it was super hard. I don't know why they made it so hard. I mean, I guess this is because it's a gas pedal, but it sh this was way harder than it should have been to take out. And all I had to do was press this little tab right here, and she came right out. So I'm at a dilemma right now, and I was just thinking, oh, what if I just place it right here because it's easy to reach, but then the wire will be showing going down there in daylight, and it looks kind of tacky, and... I don't know, it just doesn't look good there. So what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna try to lift these two up and then put it right here and then tuck in the wires to go all the way up there to the uh, gas pedal. So that way all this will be hidden and once this is closed, you, can, you, you can't even tell that, you know, this just keeps this area clean and this is gonna be in your line of sight every time you drive. So let me go ahead and start taking this up. Oh man, I need to clean this, but yeah, I just had to remove one bolt right here and two bolts right here and they were all 10 mil size and I need just enough room to where I have enough play to lift this up like this and I'm gonna have to take this out from this thing and drill a hole to where this can fit through and I could just feed the line right here and it should just be held up with this pressing up against the carpet right here.
the moment of truth. Will this fit? Ooh, see that? Nice. So I'm just gonna feed this through like that and then I'm gonna pull it down here. So while I'm putting everything back together, I'm just trying to put this in the right place. So if I ever want to take out the center console, I could take out everything uh, very easily and without having like interference. So for example, I need to be able to take out this piece and I just need enough room on both sides to be able to pop this off. Obviously, I don't want to have this um, prying tool sit on top of this and break the knob, obviously. So... I'm just trying to find a good spot, maybe right around there. And also watch out for these bolts. So if I ever need to take out the console. And all I'm going to do is use a little bit of 3M. Honestly, uh, Velcro would be better because you could just take it out easier. But this is all I have. If you guys ever work with this, you guys know you don't need a lot. So I'm just going to cut off a piece like literally like the size of this 3M uh, logo right here. And the next step is just to put it at the very bottom. Because you don't want to be seeing it, you know, when if it's up, if it was up top, you'd be able to see this gray tape. So put the other one at the bottom right here, right around the corner. And just press it firmly once they're on like that. Let's just be able to... I think that's a good spot right there. All right, and then we just want to press firmly again for maybe 20 to 30 seconds. All right, and that should be good. It looks like it's not going anywhere. And just time to clean this up and it should be good. All right, and then after we did that, after we uh, routed it through there, next thing you do is connect that to the box that it came with and literally just do everything in reverse so i just have to plug this in to the gas pedal all right so this is what the underneath looks like and i just used 3m to stick that up there and that should be that shouldn't be going anywhere and this is you could barely see it. that's the wire coming from the center console to set this so we're gonna put this the car in accessory mode right here and then we're gonna hold this down you should see a countdown three two one all right and then let go so this is going to show low voltage this is the gas pedal at rest and then we need to click it once to put set and then high voltage is going to show for the h and then let's push on the gas pedal all the way to the bottom All right, that's all the way down. All right, now that it's at the max, we press it one more time. We set it, and then now we can release it. So you wanna make sure once you press it, this is a half throttle, and all the way down is 100, and that's where you wanna be at. And your foot is all the way to the floor. This is sport right here. It's eco mode, sport. I actually like the feeling of this knob. It feels like a good quality knob and not just some cheap like Chinese knob, but yeah, it goes all the way from zero all the way to nine. And let's see what the ego. Oh, it goes up to seven on eco. So it's the next day and um, I couldn't record yesterday. Well, I could, but it got really dark. So I just wanted to have a, uh, you know, bright full day to record and show you guys the experience. So I'm just gonna warm up the car right now by driving around and yeah, we'll get to it. We're here and right now it's at zero. So I guess we'll start it off at one. See if it makes any difference. Level one right here. I don't 
don't feel a difference. I think it's just in my head, to be honest. But that pull, I didn't feel a difference. Um, we'll see if any of the higher. All right, maybe if we turn it up to nine. Because when I was driving it in the first mode, there was, I guess, still that initial lag. But we'll see with nine right now. Because this is it turned all the way up so hopefully this one stands a better chance but we'll see i'm gonna do the same pull in second gear just so i could if it might feel the same have no idea if it's uh making a change when we fit this car i guess not whatever let's see oh yeah all right so listen to this you hear you guys hear that it's like instant almost see right i'll press the gas when i tap the wheel It's like, I, yeah, okay, now I can tell the difference, because at first I wasn't sure, but, like, just pre just blipping the throttle like that, just, see, well, I don't know, you guys can't see what I'm doing with my feet, but, just, just hear it, just, it just, it just goes right away, what the heck, oh my gosh, whereas before, there might be not a hesitation but like a slight lag that you could feel but look it literally like throws me back in my seat right now oh there's a car right there that's crazy oh my gosh Jeez, man. All right, this is second gear with this thing at zero right here. Let's just listen. That's that's just me blipping the throttle. Now we'll turn it up and listen. Oh my gosh! Damn, this thing's crazy. I didn't think it would make that big of a difference. Oh my gosh, jeez, man. That is insane how instant that is. Compared to where it's at zero, I, I'm not, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it just by my reaction, you guys can tell how big of a difference that is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So all I have to say is wow, like, that thing is phenomenal honestly <laughs> i'm still laughing i just got home but as you can tell like how big of an impact that made on the car and like the way it just accelerated honestly like i didn't think the car like already pulls pretty hard being 3300 pounds and being 400 horsepower i thought it pulled pretty hard and like over time you just get used to the car you know and then this i guess kind of brought that like happiness back of like pushing the gas pedal down because after a while you know you get used to your car even if it's fast it's like all right all right but yeah like i didn't think it would make that much of a difference and at first as you guys can tell i thought it was just a placebo effect like oh it's not really doing much but in fact it did and i was going up the hill in second gear with it off at first and then i turned it up as you guys saw but I don't know if you guys could hear, but you could tell by my reaction how big of a difference it was making. So, all right, I had to take off my jacket because it was getting a little too hot. But if you guys are planning on buying this product, I highly suggest you do, especially from this company. I'll put their name right here and a link to their website. And though I'm not sponsored by them, so 
if you guys want to sponsor me go ahead but yeah if they have your car honestly i i would say buy it it's one of the easiest and best 200 dollars you can spend to upgrade the performance of your car but if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below if you guys have any video ideas or anything i could do to improve better but i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching